I'm going to try and make this video about jQuery Mobile. I don't have the best uh, recording situation here, but I'm going to do my best. So this is jQuery Mobile 1.0 Release Candidate 1. Uh, I think it's, what, October 6th or 7th, 2011. Um, so if you're watching this video you know, later, uh, months from now, jQuery Mobile could be very different. Um, you know, so this video may not apply then. But anyway, this is jQuery Mobile 1.0 RC1, and I've got here an iPhone 4 with the latest version of iOS 4.x, uh, 4.3.5, or whatever the newest one is. All updated. So, jQuery Mobile. Uh, this is their main demo. You see here. There's some weird things uh, specifically with uh, loading screens and transitions and uh, list views that um, I'd like to show you if I can. Okay, and uh, so let's start here by going into list views. Now, when I touch list views here in this kind of, uh, you know, kind of iOS style um, menu, it's going to stay loading for a minute and then uh, it should send me to the new page. So I tap here, it says loading, loading, loading. Um, now did you see that? Loading went away, the old page scrolled to the top for a second, and then this new content lists came in. Now um, one nice thing about jQuery Mobile is if I hit back here, it's going to take me back. So that's pretty slick. Um, but it jumped again. It jumped from up here to down here. So let's see if it happens again. I touch list view. Now this time you see it jumped and, and scrolled uh, without the loading this time because it was cached. So let's go to something that I haven't already loaded. So let's go to like form elements here. So it's going to say loading. This page jumps to the top and then the new page scrolls in. Which is a little bit disorienting. Um, and sometimes there's a bit longer of a delay between the time when um, the new content comes in and that visual glitch. Oh, this is the other thing that I don't understand about jQuery Mobile. Did you see how I can scroll to the left and to the right even though there's nothing over there? Like, why can I scroll in all four directions instead of only being able to scroll up and down? So that I don't, I don't get. It annoys me. But, so let's go, let's click on like form basics here. See, there's a mit, there's like a half second there where the loading thing goes away before the new content comes in, and I feel like, you know, if I didn't know better, it, it, did my content really load? Is is the app frozen? Like, what what just happened? And what's worse is if if you touch the screen again, thinking you need to tap again, the wrong moment, you can actually uh, freeze their animation. which gets really weird. You see? Like, <laughs> do you see what just happened there? Uh, I, I don't even really know how to explain that. Like, I tap the screen again after tapping one of these options. So let me do, like, uh, select menus. And now I'm going to touch the screen here because I want to go to something else. Now everything kind of freezes and then it unfreezes, and then when I let go, jumps to the top, and then goes over to select menus. So that that's just really strange behavior. Now I hit the back button, and there's like a weird delay. Now I'm trying to show you that you can actually break the animation, which that's really strange when you do that. There, there I just did it without even trying. So this time I wasn't even actually deliberately trying to break it. Um, I was just trying to get to another page where I could try and deliberately break it. And here um, I was tapping again because I just guess I felt like it wasn't loading or something. So I wasn't convinced it was loading because uh, there's no loading message once it's cached. And I put my thumb down on the screen and actually caught it mid-page transition. And then it like double animates and glitches out uh, once you do that. 
which is kind of weird. Um, so yeah, so there's some there's some strangeness with uh, jQuery Mobile at the moment, um, and I, I hope that they can work some of that out. I I just wanted to add on to the end of my video here. Uh, I wanted to show you another mobile web development framework. Um, it's kind of a competitor of sorts of of jQuery Mobile, although I suppose it it, it fills a slightly different niche. Uh, this one is called Sencha Touch. So this is the kitchen sink demo from Sencha Touch. Um, it's now free even under a commercial license. Um, and so you can see in this demo here, I, I am in Mobile Safari, there's the URL, but Sencha Touch actually has a, a fixed position nav bar at the top of the screen, like an iOS app has that ability. So now if I tap like user interface here, you can see that it's very, very responsive. This actually um, is for selecting, so it's normal that I'm not going into something from here. But now if I hit back, and back out of this, again, you can see uh, how quick that this seems to respond. And it's this kind of snappiness that I guess um, I'd like to see jQuery Mobile be able to achieve. Um, you know, this, this, you know, just feels really fast, um, and I like that. Anyway, I guess that's uh, that's about it. Thanks.